was the night before Christmas when all through the roost, not a creature was stirring, not even a goose. Food bowls were hung in the aviary with care, and hope St. Nick would leave seeds, nuts, and pear. The nestlings were snuggled warm under their hen. She knew that St. Nick would be coming again. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out in the aviary there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When I looked to the skies, it gave me the tingles. I saw a miniature sleigh being drawn by flamingos. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Pinky, now Pink Floyd, on Pink Cadillac, on Squishy, on Stomper, and Ants and Mango. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the aviary top, the flamingos they flew, with sleigh full of goodies, and St. Nicholas too. I heard as they landed a loud honking sound and was amazed as I watched those pink birds set down. I ran to the aviary and guess what I saw? St. Nick giving mac nuts to my hyacinth macaw. As I peeked in my aviary, it was surprising to see all the birds out together decorating a tree. Glories hung from the branches like bright Christmas balls. They sang loud Christmas carols with their squawking calls. Rope perches for garland and ornaments of bird toys. Oh, what a sight and such beautiful noise. When they heard that Santa and the tree were done, up swooped the cockatoo like a bright ray of sun. Perching on top of the tree with her spread wings, I heard sweet sounds like when an angel sings. Then Santa appeared on them and squealed with delight. It pleased them to see they created the sight. He then turned to Squishy, who knew what to do, picked up Santa's bag, and to him she flew. Each one in my flock was given a treat, with so many birds that is quite a feat. He knew what to give them and did it with care, as he fed each one of them I just had to stare. The grays thanked him as he gave them seed and corn. The hornbills were ecstatic when they ate their mealworms. The birds clapped their wings when offered Hagen Tropa mix. Santa munched on it too. I saw the crumbs on his lips. The macaws ate them down and then shared with each other. Their crops got so full they couldn't eat another. The toucans had papaya and fruit cubed in a square. Missouri low iron pellets were also fed to them there. All ate their fill, and there was much for the pickings. Then the professor exclaimed, we've forgotten the chickens. So a banquet for the fowl was laid out before them. I watched as Santa smiled and then whispered amen. This aviculturist was a spry old elf, and I had to laugh in spite of myself. His sleigh had a decal that said MAP. He winked as he pointed it out to me. I nodded and smiled, for I knew what he meant. If we don't regulate ourselves, it will be the government. He sprang to his sleigh, gave the flamingos a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to birds and to all a good night. I thought at the time, and I'm sure I'm not wrong, to AFA and ASA old St. Nick must be long. I thought to myself I would have to remember to ask Santa next year if he is already a member. As I went back to bed, I felt quite assured I could sleep in tomorrow. St. Nick fed my birds. Don't think this could happen. Well, take it from me. I know that it did. It was on Aviculture TV.